Alex Pena with Kate Sat Press. I'm with Ricardo Hamos, who returns to action next Saturday on June 18th. Ricardo, how are you? Pretty good, my friend. Very excited and ready to go. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be talking with you. I did want to ask you, is it Ricardo Hamos, Ricardo Ramos, Ricardo Ramos? What is it? Well, in Portuguese, it would be Ricardo Ramos. But in English, uh, Ricardo Ramos or Ramos. Well, uh, what's up to you? What, what, what is easier for you? <laughs> I got you. I got you. I, I think... It's it's easier. It's easier than my nickname, which is Carcassinha, which means uh, little carcass. <laughs> that is that is that is very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Well, you're ten days out. How are you feeling? I'm oh, feeling great. Ready to go and uh, very excited. Uh, have a had a great training camp. Had a you know a lot of learnings and. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited to put everything on this fight. Awesome, awesome. That's awesome to hear. I wanted to uh, ask before we get to your fight, you haven't, uh, we haven't seen you since last October. Why the layoff? Uh, you know, I, I don't know too. I was waiting for UFC to call me, so I was just training and uh, uh, I did some uh, jujitsu competitions because I was, uh, you know, trying to keep that feeling of uh, competition always on on you know the fire for the competition so i did some uh, jiu jitsu uh, championships and that was good to to keep this energy you know the adrenaline on awesome awesome um ufc 267 uh the fight didn't go your way i just wanted to ask you um what did you learn from that fight you know you never lost you always learn so you know uh i feel like uh when you lost, you you gotta, you know, watch the fight and see all the techniques and everything you did wrong or right, and just try to fix it or improve it. But also, I I, I like to see like the moment I was leaving and everything I was overcoming for to be there and competing. So inside the fight, I know I, I could do more. I could do more. Uh, you know, uh, open my, my, use more of my tools on this one, on this fight. And it's all about like how you, you're training for the fight, like how you're, you're, um, what, what the repetitions you're doing, uh, for the, for the opponent. And I feel like I, I focus in on this fight in a lot of boxing and, uh, uh, take down defense. And when I got there, the guy did not like, uh, try to take me down as I, I was expecting and that this changes completely the the whole fight so i feel he gave his best i gave uh, everything i had on this one and now i'm a better fighter and i have more you know learnings and uh things to that i proven uh since this this fight to get better for this one and um i feel like i i now i'm you know, using more of my tricks, more of my, I'm opening my, my game for more tools, which is what I like to do and not trying to close, you know? So for this one, I feel like I gonna, oops, <laughs> I gonna use more of this, uh, uh, you know, these skills that I have, you know, I think I have a lot of skills like on jujitsu, on uh, uh, striking, I can kick, I can punch, I can uh, do elbows, I can take down. I can defend the take down. And as more as I, uh, as more I open my my game, uh, better I am inside the fight. So for this one, I think that's what I changed. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, you said you had to overcome something in, in order to get to that fight at UFC two sixty seven. Can can you share what that was? Oh yeah, yeah. Like uh, because before this fight, he had an injury and then I got a COVID and then they rescheduled the fights, uh, you know, so I was living in the U.S., you spend money and then you, you gotta, you know, uh, like when I live in the U.S., it's uh, $1, it's like five reais or six reais, you know, so it's a lot of money to stay there and then you gotta, you know, looking for, um, uh, uh, sponsors and this and that so it's a lot of uh you know things that you gotta you gotta be like uh uh 
looking for to to keep the training camp so every time i say like oh guys i gotta stay here for one more month because i got a covid and they say okay i'm gonna keep uh you know giving money for you or not so you gotta lead all these things which is uh a lot of uh you know uh 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 you know like small things that you gotta put on the on the uh right place to keep the keep the training camp uh good you know and also i had a baby and i was like far from my baby and uh my my girlfriend saying oh i miss you and, and this and that and uh it's it's hard to be like for me it's hard to be always it's always hard to be far from my family but now that i have a baby it's harder you know it's uh, much harder to be far from your baby you want to be close you want to be a close fighter uh, father so um it's a good feeling to under uh, to it's good to be making my training camp uh, close to my baby right now because i'm in brazil but uh also i would like to be uh in team of a male with my team but it's always like that you always have to overcome something you ha always have to be with your mi mind you know uh prepared to lead with all these uh small problems that you're gonna lead uh, in the whole process you know and as you you beat this these problems you get uh re more ready for the fight you know so that's how i i try to see all the the overcome moments in my life gotcha gotcha i did want to say congratulations on being a dad um and oh yeah Thank how you. is being how is dad life H how is it being a dad Bro, you have you have kids or or not? I don't. I don't. Uh, it's a better for you, man. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> no, if you really want, you know, be ready. It's you know, it's it's just like double double training every day. Every day you you come back home and uh, you gotta. I I used to say I activate the family father's mode. So <laughs> as I get back home, I gotta, you know, spend time with my baby, uh, give some food, you know, be be present, you know. So it's it's a lot of work. Doesn't look like, but uh, it's a lot of work. And uh, I had a, a deal with my girlfriend, which is like, oh, when I'm in training camp, you you get a hundred percent like uh, the the job with the baby. But it's not like that, you know, you got to be closer sometimes. You got to go there, you spend some time. But uh, it's it's a little bit easier when I'm training camp. When, when I'm not in training camp, it's it's really hard, but uh, it's good. It's an investment for the life, you know. It's your baby, your baby girl, which is uh, growing. And uh, it's it's painful, you know. So it's not a, would be not a, not call, call it a job, but uh you got to invest energy, you know, it's a lot of energy to, to be close. So in training camp, I try to be a little bit away, but, uh, but it's good in the, uh, in the total, it's all good. Like it's, um, uh, make me more, uh, you know, complete as a human, as a father, as a, you know, uh, it's really good for my life. Awesome. Completely awesome. changed my life. Awesome. That's, uh, that's awesome to hear. Congratulations oh, again, man. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, cool. All right. So UFC Austin, uh, you're back in front of a sold out crowd. Are you excited about that? Oh, fuck yeah. That's what I'm uh, waiting for, my man. You know, like uh, quar quarantine was crazy and uh, fighting in quarantine was uh, pretty cool. But, you know, we want the we want the fans, we want that, you know, people screaming like, ah, kill him, kill him. You know? That's what I, we, we like to hear. It's it's a different feeling, you know, when you have the the people in the arena, um, you know, like it's it's a different uh, atmosphere. And that's a, that atmosphere is what makes me happy to fight, you know. So it's completely different it's a long time I, I i i don't fight with uh you know m many people in the arena so that's gonna be a a great moment to be back on this this place you know with uh people all over the place that's gonna be fun for sure awesome awesome did you get any work in with team alpha male or was your camp strictly brazil 
Yeah, I, I'm always talking to coaches uh, in uh, messages and everything. I'm always like uh, uh, talking about strategy and everything. But I did not uh, train with them for this one because visa situations, I had to wait for UFC to help me with visa and everything. So for this time, I did my whole training camp in Brazil. But it's awesome. Uh, the people I, I have here, they they're great uh, coaches and uh, training partners. So I will be ready as as much as I would be on uh, Team of Ameo. It's just different uh, way to work. And but I know these guys pretty much since the beginning, and we we are doing uh, cross uh, working with Team of Ameo since I I started to go to uh, to California. So it's gonna be great. I I'm I can't wait to put everything in the fight. Awesome, awesome. Well, I can't wait to watch it. Uh, well, Danny, Danny Chavez, uh, how, how do you like that matchup? I love it. Uh, it's a great fighter. You know, uh, he's a Colombian guy. Uh, I like his fight style. He's a very energized guy. You know, he's always, uh, uh, he's very explosive. So, so it's a tough fight, you know, for me, every fighter in UFC is a, is a tough fight, you know, so you gotta be ready. You, you cannot sleep anytime. The eyes got to be alive since the first second of the fight. Uh, so it's going to be a good matchup to be back. And uh, I will give my best. For me, this is just like, uh, you know, the fight of my life. And uh, I, I can't wait to be there inside the cage and uh, put in everything I'm training for him. And that's the time to see if everything was right or not. So in, in this fight, I'm feeling that like uh, that feeling of, uh, you know, inside of like, oh, I want to be there uh, fast. You know, I want to be there soon. And uh, I'm very excited to to fight against him. He's a great fighter. I, I watched a lot of his fights. So I can't wait to to be there. That's what I, I, I got to say. Yeah, no, it's it's uh, it has a potential yeah. to be fight of the night. You guys both come forward. You guys are both strikers. You both mm -hmm. just come and are very, very exciting fighters. At the end of the day, June 18th, how do you get your hand raised? Sorry? Oh, yeah. The, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, what I'm uh, – since the last fight, what I'm uh, putting on my mind, it's, it's more about, like, uh, mindset changing. So I want to finish the fight. doesn't matter how. Uh, sometimes we – we are trying to survive right there. We are trying to get the win, uh, like just uh, just be a little bit better than the other guy. But I don't. I don't now I just want to finish the fight. Doesn't matter how. I'm gonna give everything since first minute, and uh, that's what I'm training for. So I want to finish the fight. Doesn't matter if it that's gonna be on the ground or on on striking. But I want to get I want to get the knockout or the submission. So I had to work a lot of jujitsu, a lot of strikings. Both are good. Both are a, a high level uh, uh, skill sets for for this fight. So I don't have like uh, something to say if that's gonna be a, a submission or a knockout. But I'm pretty confident that's gonna be a finish, uh, early finish. I wanna. Uh, finish the fight doesn't matter how but before the time is over awesome awesome um finally you're fighting on the same card as your teammate josh Emmett. very very big fight for him um how do you see that fight going down for uh, josh man this guy has powers on his hands you know it's uh, <laughs> you I, I could say like something to just uh, uh confuse his opponent but bro he got a fucking overhands really good overhands and uh he has like a lot of heavy hands bro his hands are really heavy so it's probably gonna be a knockout i think with right hand that's gonna be my my, my thoughts about this fight i think he's gonna knock out this guy with right hand which you, is pretty good have you sparred him before yeah a couple of times yeah how is that well, we we have a saying that you don't you don't come in training. So, <laughs> but I have only one say uh, one thing to say is 
man, he's <laughs> he's a problem, man. He's a he's a killer. That that's that's all I gotta say. Oh. I have to say. Awesome, awesome, Ricardo. Thank you so much for your time, man. I really appreciate it. Very excited to have you back in the octagon. If you, if you want to plug your social media, plug any sponsors you got, you want to thank anybody, the floor is yours. Thank you so much, everyone. Thanks for watching. Follow me on uh, Ricardo Ramos MMA on Instagram and Twitter. And thank you so much for being a UFC fan, guys. Peace.